You know, when I came to Schubert in 1974, I looked around at the people there who had worked there about 20 years, and I said, who would work anywhere for 20 years? I'll be here a couple of years, then I'll go someplace else. Go figure, 43 years. How did it happen? Where did it go? So, and I think, but on the other hand, I would like to say that um, we have come in my time on Broadway from a time when the theater was really in the dumps in the mid-70s to what I think we can all agree now is, is another golden age. The theater is beyond belief these days. The line of shows that want to get into theaters and the success of the performers and the shows that are on now is, is just unbelievably spectacular. So I'm happy to have seen that in my career. I want to thank the uh, League and the Wing, the Theater the Tony Administration Committee, for giving me this honor. And uh, I guess in somewhat historical order, I'd like to thank Phil Smith and the late Warren Carroll for giving me this job in the first place. Um, and I'd like to thank Bernie Jacobs and Jerry Schoenfeld and Phil Smith for letting me sit in right away on high stakes labor negotiations. I was there for the first, maybe not the first, but possibly the first musician strike in 1975. And the experience I gained in labor relations and in working with the unions has been invaluable in, in all of that time. Um, and along with those lines, I'd like to thank all of those members of the negotiating committees who we spent countless all-nighters at Hour and Gracie Mansion <coughs> hoping against hope that we could get a deal done. And obviously, ultimately, we did, with a couple of unfortunate exceptions. Um, and uh, those people worked their hearts out, as did I, and uh, it was a great way to work with people in the industry, all going for the one for the same goal. Uh, I'd also like to thank my former associates who worked so hard to support the Theater Operations Department at the Schubert Organization, Mark Schweppe and Mary Braley. Um, I'd also like to thank two unsung heroes of the Schubert Organization, John Darby and Keith Marston of the Facilities Department. The Facilities Department has saved Theater Operations rear end I, more times than I can count. Uh, every disaster that can possibly happen in buildings happens, fortunately almost never when an audience was in there. But these guys come to the rescue and, and get that performance on and sometimes I, I just can't believe that it's happened. So I owe them a great, um, I'm grateful to them for everything that they've done for us. Um, I also want to call out my wife and Secretary of State, Parker Janowitz, <laughs> and my Secretary of Transportation in the back, my stepdaughter, Madeline McDonald, and John McDonald, her husband. I also want to put in two cents about the, the local firehouse. Chief Mara and his predecessors have been really been friends to the theater. They have made it possible for the designers and directors to get what they want in physical production and physical environment of the theaters while making it safe and legal. And they have really worked so well with the tech directors to make these um, physical concepts come to life that I think they very much deserve with the award that they're getting tonight. And with that, I thank you again, and onward.